Next, iterative model. Sa iterative model naman, ito yung pinatawag nating repetition incarnate. Paulit-ulit na nangyayari ang isang phase. Instead of starting with fully known requirements, ang gagawin mo, yung mismong set of requirements na na-develop mo doon on that first increment at yung mismong natapos mo doon will be used again for the second in increment for another version. Dito na po tayo papasok sa tinatawag na version 1, version 2, version 3. Creating of multiple prototypes to create a perfect program. Dito papasok yung tinatawag nating analysis, design, code, and test. Kapag nagawa yan, magkakaroon na tayo ng first increment. Now, that first increment will be used for the second increment. You will be done, uh, you will be use it for another analysis. Tapos magpupush ko ng panibagong design if meron ka mababago sa increment 1. You will be adding another set of codes and test it once more. Then magkakaroon na kagad ng incremental 3. Ah, incremental 2. Yung increment 2 naman, gagamitin siya sa incremental 3 or increment 3 for another set of analysis, design, code, and test. Ganon ang push ng incremental model. Ang incremental model ay very generated quickly na very quickly to very quick to generate. Ito yung pinaka mabilis. Very flexible and less expensive. Syempre, yung una mong output yun yung gagamitin mo, hindi ka na masyadong gagamit. You will just add new things doon sa una mong nagawa. Though the development stage change can be done. Pwedeng mabago to. Models is less costly compared to others. Ito yung talagang model na focus talaga siya sa budget ng isang client. A customer can respond to each building. Merong tinatawag na uh, flexibility na pwedeng tanungin yung customer. Pwedeng mamagitan, pwedeng tumingin, pwedeng tignan, pwedeng baguhin, pwedeng i-change. Errors can be, be can be identified agad-agad. Ganon kabilis ang incremental model. Ano ang problema sa incremental model? Sinabi dito, each phase of an iteration is rigid and do not overlap each other. Yan, hindi siya nag-overlap you need to finish one iteration, then next again. Problems may arise pertaining to system architecture because not all requirements are gathered up front to the entire software software life cycle. Kasi dito sa incremental model, kung ano lang muna yung kailangan for the first increment, yun yung lalagay. Hindi katulad ng ibang models na iniipon mo talaga yung mga necessary uh, informations at nakikita mo lahat ang problems o hindi mo nakikita, o na, parang hindi ka nag-gather ng requirements agad-agad. Dito kasi kung ano yung kailangan lang sa requirement ng incremental 1, dun lang yun muna. Then, hahanap ulit ng requirement for incremental 2. Dito, lalabas talaga yung mga problems. Lalabas yung mga mga errors. Kasi hindi natin na-get agad yung mga possible requirements.